All right, we've got everything into our crock pot here to make our beautiful pot roast. Now we're coming in with some cream of mushroom soup. I'm using the unsalted kind, but you can choose whichever kind you would like. I'm just gonna get all of this out of the pan here. If you don't like cream of mushroom, you could use cream of celery or, you know, cream of chicken, whichever kind you would prefer. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of beef broth to my can here to make sure we get everything out of my can and also to add a little bit of liquid to this. There we go, perfect. All right, I'm just gonna get this spread out so it'll evenly cover and marinate our chuck roast here. It's gonna bring a lot of flavor to the dish as a whole and also to the meat. All right, I'm gonna add in a couple of bay leaves here. Give a little bit of extra additional spice and flavor. And I've got some bouillon cubes, which I'm gonna add in just like that. I like to just use a beef bouillon, but again, you can substitute with chicken or whichever kind you like. And now I'm gonna add a whole stick of butter to this, just like that. It's gonna bring a nice moisture and texture to our meat there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this whole thing, especially around those veggies there. I use the low sodium broth and I use the no so salt added cream of mushroom, but you know, due to your taste, your preferences, a little bit of fresh ground black pepper here. I like things spicy. If you don't like things spicy, you're good with without garlic powder. and a little bit of onion powder, even though we got our onions in here. Can never have too much onion and garlic, in my opinion. Now we're coming in with some fresh rosemary leaves, and I am just gonna put these in here. I love a rosemary flavor, especially around the holidays. And now I've got just some thyme that I'm gonna place in just like that. That is gonna be so tasty. All right, we're ready to put our lid onto our crock pot. I'm gonna cook this on high for four and a half hours, but you can also do it on slow for eight hours. All right, it's been four and a half hours on high, and we are ready to taste our beautiful holiday pot roast. Yes, it smells incredible. Let me just get these rosemaries out of here. I'm gonna move these bay leaves to the side and we'll be ready to lift this out and start slicing. I have a feeling it's gonna be very tender. This was a four pound chuck roast, just for envisionment. There we go, look how good that looks. And I'm gonna slice into this. This is just cutting like butter. So good. Can't wait to taste this. There we go. Get my slices here onto my plate. And I'm gonna grab out some potatoes, our fingerling potatoes that we use here. A little bit of onion on there and some carrots. We're ready for a fabulous holiday meal. All right, I'm ready for a slice. Bon appetit, everyone. Oh my goodness. This just melts in your mouth. So good. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you try this.